Hello guys and welcome to Midi's Tech Circle. So here we go again with One UI 2.1, the latest update Samsung has released for the S10 and Note 10, bringing some cool Galaxy S20 features to our handset. The, today I want to talk about the things that we have now in the camera. In the yeah, camera app basically. All the new things we now have here. So the first thing is single take mode. Single take mode is a great feature they introduced with the Galaxy S20. It lets you capture beautiful, cool, amazing moments um, while you are just holding your phone and like recording a video. So you tap this button, you record what's happening. It says capturing meaningful moments. And yeah, just um, the more you shoot, the more meaningful moments you will capture. So this scene wasn't, yeah, that spectacular. That's why it won't give us a lot of results, but basically what it does, when something is happening, it will take different photos, videos, will apply some color filters. It thinks they may, they make, uh, may, may look cool and um, also switch between the ultra wide mode, the telephoto lens. So it will do a lot of variations of pictures and videos. And after this, you can choose between all of them, select some, share them and whatever you want to do with them, you can do. So this is a cool feature when you want to capture cool moments um, without switching between video and photo because when it happens in real life and it's not played, um, you know what I mean? Then you can't, you don't have the time to switch between video and photo. And sometimes you may regret that you have taken a video and not a photo, but with single take mode, you won't have this issue because it will do everything for you in split of a second. It will switch between all of these modes without you doing that and it will do it fast. So when you are recording something in a cool moment, you will get a lot of end results and that is really amazing. Yeah, so this is the main biggest feature in my opinion we now have with um, One UI 2.1. You can see we have some updated animation. So when we slide between the modes, you can see this is like a magnifier um, animation over the name of the mode. So this is cool. But the next thing we have is in hyperlapse, we can now shoot a, a night hyperlapse. So it says it's good for recording the light of car striking by, um, of cars striking by. So you can have this cool effect. So this is nice. And maybe you want to record a sunset. And when you turn on the night hyperlapse, um, yeah, it's basically if you would take a night shot with the night mode in the camera. So this is cool that they applied or gave us this feature. Next thing I want to talk about is that we now have pro video mode. So before you had the pro mode to take photos, now you have the pro mode to take videos. This is especially great if you're someone who likes to set everything on manual to get maybe better results in different conditions, make your video look more professional. I don't know how to use all of these things, but some of you do and they will enjoy this feature, I guess. All right. Next thing is that um, when we take now a video, we can switch during the video recording between the selfie camera, hello guys, and between the front uh, rear camera. So this is really cool. Um, we didn't have this option before, but now we have, and this is nice. So this also gives you a lot of variety during uh, video recording. This is really a great thing that they have added here. The next thing is that we can now shoot selfie videos um, in 4K 60 FPS. So when I go to front video size, you see we now have the option for um, 4K 60 FPS. This is really great and nice, of course. 
The next thing I want to talk about also is that we now have some gestures here over there where the shutter button is. So if you hold the shutter button, you will now record a video, okay? And when you let your finger off of this button, the video will end. So this is like if you would record a video on Instagram or Snapchat. So without going into the video mode, you can quickly just um, make a basic video. And when you swipe down on a button, you will take a burst shot. You see, I can do this again. And boom, voila, we have taken a burst shot. Um, this is also cool, in my opinion. And um, that way you can make a video when holding the button and swiping down will let you make a burst shot. All right. So basically these are the new features and changes we got with the One UI 2.1 update in the camera or yeah, for the Galaxy S10 and Note 10. So that's it. I hope you liked this video. If yes, please hit that subscribe button. Yeah, if you have any suggestions what I should show you, then leave them down below in the comment section. Stay tuned for more videos, guys. Stay healthy, stay at home, and see you next time. Bye. Peace out. Hey,